Welcome to V-Drum Tips. This video is about the R-Drums Trigger Bar, an in-trigger system for converting an acoustic drum into an electronic drum, made in Germany. This dual trigger bar is made for a 14-inch shell, but available in all sizes. It has a rim piezo and a trigger cone placed in the middle to enable positional sensing. Its surface is craned. The weight of it is only 220 grams. It comes with all required screws and a 7mm socket wrench, in case you don't have one. Two additional longer screws with spacer bolts are included to enable more flexibility for installing the system in different shells. The four small screws are required to mount the system to the lux. These two brackets need to be removed first. They have two long slotted holes that make it possible to install it into almost every drum shell, no matter how the lock screws are placed. They have a short and a long side and can be mounted from above or underneath in four different ways. And it is even possible to use this longer screw to lift the bar up or down. That makes eight different varieties on installing the system. We are using a Pearl Rhythm Traveler pad. Not ideal for this trigger bar, but let's see if we manage to apply the system. Let's get rid of these four lock screws and place the brackets inside the shell. We need the longer screws to mount it. And there you see how flexible the bracket is through the slotted holes. It is really simple to apply the brackets. We keep them movable for now. The bar itself has slotted holes too, to cope with different shell sizes. In this case the bar is too low, so we need the spacer bolts and the long screws. As you can see it is really simple to install the bar, even with the spacer. We still keep everything movable. The trigger cone has to overlap the bearing edge at around 1.5 mm. Any straight device can be used. We applied sticky tape to see the right height for the cone. This part is kind of tricky. The brackets have to be tightened, but not too much. We still want to move them. The lock screws can be tightened as soon as the correct cone height is set. We just move the bar to be able to reach the lock screws with the wrench. Be careful when tightening such small screws with a wrench. The lock winding can be destroyed if you are not careful. The bar screws can be tightened as soon as the cone is placed in the middle. You need an additional wrench here. We better check the cone height again before continuing. The system comes with a cable clamp that can be applied on two different positions. As the pad is open, we don't need to be worried about getting the cables through the shell. Our drums provides a lot of solutions for closed shells. We apply mesh head and rim silencer and the pad is ready. The system makes a really solid impression. It looks good and is stable. The module settings might have to be changed a bit. Let's see how good this system is. What an amazing trigger result! This pad can quality-wise cope with high-end Roll-On pads and is fully compatible with the advanced features of the TD25 and 30. It is easy to install even if you are not handy. And it is well produced. Combined with a good mesh head, a rim silencer and a decent snare, you get an awesome high-end trigger pad for almost half the price of a 12-inch Roll-On pad. If you want to see a video about mesh heads, click the left box. Choose the centered box to see a video about air vent cables. 
or click the right one if you want to know how to build your own trigger system. Thanks for watching. See you next time.